How's it going? This is Eric with AirCompressorPartsOnline.com once again. And uh, here we have a portable electric air compressor. And well, a lot of people just simply want an explanation of the basics, the function, the functionality of the air compressor, what certain parts do. And I uh, get a lot of requests on that here. And uh, I'd like to kind of go through that and just do a concise, quick uh, kind of explanation of what the parts are and what they do. Um, it's a real popular type of uh, electric direct drive uh, portable air compressor. Here on the front panel, as you can see, we have all of our control mechanisms here, kind of nicely placed. Coupler is obviously for our air hose. We have our outlet gauge for the air regulator to adjust the pressure to the line. As a, you get a, kind of a popular replaceable part there. Uh, if you can't adjust the pressure at it into your air hose or leaks uh, something to replace, pretty popular item. And of course, your tank pressure gauge here. And they're all connected via a manifold <coughs> on the back of the unit. So um, here we have our check valve. And this is the one-way valve that holds the air in the tank. Very popular uh, part as well. Very common that you'll have an air leak after you shut uh, the compressor off. After it shuts off, it'll leak and backfeed air. Um, that's the problem with the check valve. You know, if it doesn't seal um, after it shuts off, it'll backfeed air pressure. So a lot of times you want to uh, clean this or replace it if you have an air leakage after you turn the unit off and you notice air leaking. So that's your check valve and, of course, your main supply line from the pump routes to this check valve as well as your unloader line which <clears throat> speaking of unloader line come over here around to the pressure switch of course like on a gas compressor pilot valve this is a pressure switch which is the brains of the unit on an electric compressor so this is a uh, particular style we sell on aircompressorpartsonline.com this is your on off button switch on top and of course your electrical comes in from the bottom and your safety pop-off valve in the front and, uh, for safety reasons, in case it builds up too much pressure, it'll blow off. And of course, this controls the cut-in pressure and the cut-out pressure of the unit. So it's a on-off switch, but it's also a pressure switch, so it controls the PSI, the cut-in and cut-out. Here, this is a typical single-stage compressor, so it's rated for 90, 95 PSI cut-on pressure and about 125 or so cut-off pressure. So if you have a problem with the compressor uh, not pumping up, or not shutting off at the right pressure, they're not shutting on at the right pressure, want to replace this because they're not typically adjustable. You know, it's kind of a pain to adjust, it's not really recommended, it's electrical. Um, so it's ideal to replace this when you have a problem with it cut on and cut off pressure. So in your unloader line, routes from the check valve to the bottom of this, and a lot of times this will leak as well. So if this does leak, typically you have to replace the whole switch. Um, so your unloader valve is what dumps the excess pressure out of the line and off the pump head when the unit shuts off. So the switch will cut it off at 125 PSI and then of course the unloader valve will trip and it basically it's like a Schrader valve and it just trips and releases all the excess air off of the pump head so that the pump can restart again with uh, without pressure on the head. So that's the whole point of an unloader valve. So if, if this leaks at all or you have a problem with the switch not cutting on or off the right pressure definitely replace this really important part but uh, you know, it's just something you have to replace every now and then. Um, so, of course, you have uh, you know, your drain cocks in the bottom of the tank to release moisture. Um, again, human environment definitely uh, you know drain this uh, drain cocks. I'd, I'd say after every extended use or so. And uh, that's pretty much the basics of an electric air compressor. You have your pressure switch, regulator, outlet gauges, and next time we'll do a, a video on maintenance of an air compressor, so you know exactly what to check for when to check for it uh, so your compressor is running at optimum uh, efficiency and uh, so you can you know keep using it without any uh, without any hiccups because there are some important things to know about maintenance and we'll do that next time otherwise we'll see you next time aircompressorpartsonline.com